Hey, it was really windy when I recorded this clip, but I develop all of my own color film at home and you can too. I'm gonna take you through every single step of the way and I hope this is helpful. All right, I don't know why I'm motioning for you to come inside, but let's go. All right, now let's learn how to load your film onto the film reel. The main thing you need to know is that it has to be done in complete darkness, so it is a bit difficult, but once you practice a bunch, it'll be fine. So first thing you want to do is open your film canister to get the film out. You can use a dedicated tool they sell, but I just use a can opener if you look here. Um, I pry it open, and then once you get your film open, it'll look like this. It'll be wrapped around a little cylinder, but the main thing to know is at the very end of your film, it'll look like this, and it'll also feel like this. You need to cut that little part off so that it's flat, like mine is right here. The next thing you're gonna do is feel the film reel. Try to do this with your eyes closed because remember, you're gonna need to do this in the dark. So if you look at these little teeth here, this is where your film is gonna go underneath. Not those small ones, but these big ones here. The main thing to do here is that you have to line up the reel so that they're both in line with each other. See how if you move it, they kind of get out of line, but make sure they're in line and then hold it in place like I am here. Now you're gonna wanna put your film under here, but this is probably what's gonna happen as I'm demonstrating right here. Uh, it's probably not gonna go in at first, but once you get it, you're gonna feel it kind of go and lock in. And from there, you're gonna wanna pull it down a bit so that it kind of loads into place if you look here. So once you've loaded it a bit and pulled it a bit forward, you're gonna wanna do this motion to load it. When you get to the end, you're gonna feel the little cylinder that way I mentioned in the beginning. Cut that off so that your film at the end is also flat like it was in the beginning so that it loads perfectly all the way around, nice and smooth. The next thing you want to do is once you've gone onto the reel, you're going to put it into your tank. Now this little funnel thing that I'm going to show right here, this is what keeps the light out of your tank. As long as you have this locked into place, no light can get in. This is how you enter chemicals without letting in light. So lock it into place, make sure that's in so that your film does not get exposed. And once you've done that, you can turn on the lights and you're done.
Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Uh, I worked really hard on it and I'm really proud of it and I hope you guys enjoyed it and that it was helpful, informative, and all things like that. If you have any questions about anything I mentioned here, please leave them below and I'll be sure to answer them. Um, besides that, I also make some more film related content on TikTok if you'd like to see more little short tutorials and tips and helpful stuff if you're into film and photography. Uh, and then my photo work is on my Instagram, my website, and my Twitter if you also want to check that out. I appreciate anybody who supports my art and thank you guys so much for watching. It really means the world to me. Um, but yeah, I think that's all for now. If you have any suggestions of what you'd like to see next, please let me know. I have a bunch of stuff lined up, but I'm always open to suggestions. Thank you guys so much. I'm Natasha, and uh, that's all for me for now. Goodbye.